Hi guys, so on this video, we're going to solve another multiple units material balance problem. And this problem is coming from the principles of chemical engineering by Himmelblue and Riggs. Okay, so this is problem 11.10. And the problem requires us to calculate the flows of each stream in kilograms per second. So ito yung ating um, system, no? Kung saan meron tayong dalawang unit and we are required to find yung flow rate sa bawat stream. So, as you can see, may mga sagot na because this video was taken after we did the calculation. So, ito yung ating solution in order to find yung mga flow rate in our different streams. So, ikakalculate natin yan step by step para makita ninyo kung paano siya kinukuha and magkaroon kayo ng idea how to solve such problem kapag yan ang lumabas sa inyong exam. Okay? So, I believe that this will be a good help because itong problem na to will demonstrate uh, the basic uh, procedure na dapat ninyong gawin when you are solving for multiple units material balance problem no, in chemical engineering. So, hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Let us now jump to our calculation. Alright, so we have several streams here that are mixed as shown on this figure, no? And we need to calculate the flows of each streams in kilograms per second. So, as you can see, very straightforward naman yung requirement natin, no? We are asked to determine yung flows on each stream. So, ano na ba yung mga streams natin dito? Stream A, stream B, stream C, stream D, stream E, and stream F. Okay, so we need to find the flow rate sa lahat ng streams na to and express that in kilograms per second. Okay, so as you can see, itong stream F lang ang meron na tayong flow rate, no? Our stream F is 290 kilograms per minute. Well, of course, ang hinahanap natin is kilogram per second. So, you can either solve it using kilogram per minute or you can directly convert na itong ating flow rate ng F into kilogram per seconds, no? Para lahat ng kakalculate natin dito is already in kilogram per seconds. It will be up to you kung paano nyo siya i-approach. But for me on this problem, um, I will solve this using this unit, kilogram per minute. Kasi if I will convert this into kilogram per second, we might have a very small number and we'll be working on decimal numbers dito. So para maging simple siya, I'm going to solve it using this flow rate. And then, at the end of our calculation, saka ko na lang i-convert lahat ng streams natin into kilogram per second. Okay, so malinaw na sa atin kung ano yung hinahanap natin. No? So, let us now try to analyze yung ating data. Okay, so ang given natin dito is itong flow rate F. Okay, so dahil dito, meron na tayo agad value. So, if you remember sa mga previous na mga sample problems natin, ano, we always start with the overall material balance. Now, if I'm going to do an overall material balance here, so, lahat ng pumapasok sa ating system, no, will be equal sa lahat ng lumalabas sa ating system. But, as you can see here, we have incoming streams A, B, D, E, at isa lang yung ating outgoing stream, which is F. Samantalang itong C naman, is just the stream going from our first unit to our second unit. Okay, so in order to make it easy pag identify ng ating mga units, I will just write this as unit 1 and this is unit 2. Okay, para mas mapadali yung identification natin. Alright, so lahat ng pumapasok, A, B, D, and E will be equal to F. And that will be our overall material balance. So we have A plus B plus D, plus E, will be equal to F. And on this case, only F is known, right? Our F is equal to 290 kilograms per minute. So we have A, plus B, plus D, plus E, is equal to F, which is 290 kilograms per minute. Okay? So, as you can see, no, isa pa lang naman yung known value natin. So, it will be very early to use this overall material balance. So, 
maggagawa muna tayo ng component balance in order to identify yung mga streams na pwede nating makuha kaagad. No? So, let us do a component balance. Alright, so the first step na gagawin natin is hanapin kung ano ba yung mga materials natin that are unique no? in a different stream. So, for example, we choose a component balance based on HCL. Well, of course, you can easily determine kung gano'ng karaming HCL meron tayo sa ating stream F because we know the flow rate of F, which is 290 kg per minute, and we know how much HCL we have. We have 2.55% of HCL dito sa F. However, kapag yan ang ginamit natin initially for our component balance, as you can see, halos lahat ng streams natin is merong HCL. We have HCL in our stream A, HCL in stream D, and HCL in stream E, no? And also here in F. So, wala lang HCL dito sa stream B. So, it will be difficult to do a component balance on HCL, lalo na gagamitin natin lahat ng streams. And all those streams are unknown. Okay? Hindi natin alam kung gano'ng karami yung A, D, and E. So, ang una nyong gagawin is to find kung ano ba yung mga component natin that is unique in some streams. In this case, sa nakikita ko, uh, let us first have a look on the inert solid. Okay? So, you can easily determine kung gano'ng karaming inert solid meron tayo sa F because it is 1.55% of 290. And as you can see, stream A does not have inert solid. Stream D does not have inert solid and stream E does not have iner inert solid. No? So, meron lang tayong inert solid dito sa B which is 9% of our stream B. So, therefore, lahat ng B natin na pumasok na inert solid ay napunta sa stream F. So, kung gano karaming inert solid meron tayo sa F, ganun din karaming inert solid meron tayo sa B. So, let us have a component balance based from inert solid. Okay, so we have inert solid. Okay, inert solid balance muna tayo. Okay, so... As you can see, dalawang streams lang yung meron tayong inert solid, no? Stream F and stream B. So, therefore, uh, in stream B, which is 9% yung ating inert solid, so therefore, 9%, so 0.09 of B would be equal to, gano'n ba karaming inert solid meron tayo dito sa F, which is 1.55%, no? So, we have... 0.0155 okay, of our F. So, ganun karami yung ating inert solid dito sa F. Okay? Now, we can solve for B dahil alam natin yung value ng F. So, B is equal to 0.0155 times F. So, our F is 290 kilograms per minute. So, we have 290 kilograms per minute divided by itong 0.09 we're going to transpose dito sa right side ng equation so we have 0.09 so our B is equal to so let us use our calculator we have 0 0.0155 times 290 then divided by 0.09 okay so we have Around 50, no? Round up na natin. We have 50 kilograms per minute. Okay, so we actually got already itong ating uh, stream B, okay? Well, of course, i-convert pa natin yan later and into seconds, no? But I'm going to work on on this rate para mas mababa yung ating mga values, no? So, para hindi na rin tayo mahirapan, isulat na natin yan dito para alam na natin kaagad just in one loop, kung gano'ng karami yung ating um, stream B. Okay? So, we have 50 kilograms per minute. So, alam na natin yung stream B, no? So, ang kailangan natin makuha uli, another stream na pwede natin ma-identify. So, hanap tayo ng unique na component, no? And on this case, nakikita ko is itong sodium chloride. Because in sodium chlor the sodium chloride in stream F, makukuha natin because we know it is 1.38% ng stream F. Okay, and walang sodium chloride dito sa D, 
wala rin sa E, and wala rin sa B. So, meron lang siya dito sa stream A. So, therefore, all of the sodium chloride on A exited dito sa ating stream F. Okay, so naandito lahat ng sodium chloride natin. So, kung gano'ng karami man ang sodium chloride natin sa A, ganun din karami yung sodium chloride natin sa F. Okay, so we have 4% of um, sodium chloride in A, no? So, let us do sodium chloride balance, no? So, we have here NaCl balance. Okay, so kung gano'ng karami yung ating sodium chloride sa A, ganun din karami yung sodium chloride sa F. So, we have, again, 4% of sodium chloride dito sa ating stream A. So, we have 0.04 of A. Okay? 4% ng stream A is sodium chloride and equal siya dito sa sodium chloride sa ating F. Dahil ito lang naman yung merong pinaglabasan ng NaCl. And that is 1.38% of 290, no? So, we have 0 0.0138 of 290. Our F, iba? So, again, we can solve for A dahil alam natin yung value ng F. So, our A is equal to 0 0.0138 times F, which is 290 kilograms per minute over our 0 0.04. That transpose natin sa right side ng equation. So, we have 0 0.04. So, now we can solve for the value of a. So, again, use natin yung calculator natin. Ano? We have 0 0.0138 times 290 divided by 0 0.04. Okay, so we have 100. Okay, so round up na natin. So, we have 100 kilograms per minute of stream A. So, nakuha na natin yung value ng stream A. But, of course, we are going to convert that later into seconds, no? So, we have 100 here. Our A is equal to 100 kilogram per minute. Okay? So, sa nakikita ninyo, no? Yung stream D, C, and E na lang yung walang value. Because alam na natin yung flow rate sa stream F, flow rate ng stream A, and flow rate ng stream B. Okay? So, of course, makukuha na natin yung flow rate ng stream C. Because kung ano yung pumasok na A at pumasok na B, that will be equal to our stream C, no? So, that will be our um, material balance in unit 1, no? Kawa tayo dito, material balance, balance at stream 1. Okay, so nakita natin sa stream 1 natin, ang pumasok is AB. At ang lumabas ay C, no? So, therefore, lahat ng pumasok na A and lahat ng pumasok na B will be equal to lahat ng lumabas sa C. So, alam natin yung value ng A, alam natin yung value ng B, so we can substitute that here. So, our A is 100, our B is 50, so that will be equal to C. So, therefore, our C is equal to 150 kilograms per minute. So, alam na rin natin yung stream C. Okay? So, convert na lang natin yan later into second. So, alam na natin yan. Sulat natin dito, our C is equal to 150 kilogram per minute. Okay? So, alam na natin yan. Ang hindi na lang natin alam so far is yung value ng D and yung value ng E. Okay? So, let us try to use itong overall material balance natin. Because we already know the value of A and B, pero hindi natin alam yung value ng D and E, no? So, let us try to have our overall material balance again. In which we know, okay, OMB, on which we know that lahat ng pumasok na A plus lahat ng pumasok na B, then lahat ng pumasok na D plus lahat ng pumasok na E will be equal to lahat ng lumabas sa F. Okay, so we know our A which is 100 plus B, we know our B as 50 then plus D, we don't know what's D, we don't know what's E but we know what is F. Our F is 290 kilograms 
per minute, right? So let us write that here. We have 290 kilograms per minute. So therefore, we have D plus E is equal to 290 minus 100 minus 50. So this is minus 150. So therefore, our D plus E will be equal to 140 kilograms per minute. Okay, and let me write this as equation number 1 because we're going to use that later. No? So ngayon, alam na natin yung relationship ng D plus E. When we add D plus E, we have 140 kilograms per minute. So kailangan na lang natin ng isa pang equation in order to get the relationship of D and E. And now we will do another component balance. So dito pwede na natin gamitin yung HCL as our component. So remember, if you're going to do an HCL balance, we could use either itong uh, balance na dito sa 2 or overall material balance. Pwede rin naman, ano? That will be the same. So, let me do an overall material balance because alam na natin lahat ng details natin, no? So, lahat ng HCL na pumapasok will be equal to lahat ng HCL na lumalabas. So, Meron tayong HCl na pumasok galing dito sa stream A. So, no, let me write this in blue. Meron tayong HCl dito na pumasok from A. Wala dito sa B. Meron tayong HCl sa D and we have an HCl dito sa E, no? So, therefore, lahat ng pumapasok sa A, D, and E will be equal to HCl na lumalabas dito sa F, okay? So, simulan natin sa HCl ng A, which is 5%, no? 5% ng A. Okay, so let me write that here. So, we have HCl balance. Okay, so para hindi tayo malito, let me write it this way, no? HCl in A plus HCl in, wala sa B, no? So, we have HCl in B plus HCl in E will be equal to the HCl in F. Okay? So, yan yung uh, HCl balance natin no, sa lahat ng ating uh, units from unit 1 and unit 2. So, unahin natin itong HCl sa A which is 5% of A, di ba? HCl sa ating A is 5% of A. So, 5% of A means we have 0 0.05 of A. Plus, in D, we have uh, 2% of D, yung ating HCl. So, we have 2% means we have here 0 0.02 of D. Plus, in our E, gano'ng karami yung ating HCl? We have 1.5% ng E. No? So, we have 1.5% which is 0 0.015 of E. And this is equal to HCl in F. In, in our F, we have HCl which is 2.55%. Okay, so we have 2.55%. So, 0 0.0255 of F. Alright. So, Alam natin yung value ng A and alam natin yung value ng F. So, therefore, makukuha natin yan. No? So, 0 0.05 times A. Our A is equal to 100. So, we have here 100. Plus, we have 0 0.02 of D. We do not know what's the value of D. Then, we have 0 0.015 of E. We do not know the value of E. But we know the value of F, 0 0.0255. Our F is equal to 290, di ba? Given natin yan from the beginning. Alam natin that our F is 290 kilograms per minute. Okay? So, we could solve for this one. 5% 5 of 100 will be 5 plus 0 0.02 of D plus 0 0.015 of E is equal to 0.0255 of 290. So, let us use our calculator. We have 0.0255 times 290, which is equal to 7.395. Okay? 7.395. So, 
transpose natin itong 5. So, we will have 0.02D plus 0.015E is equal to 7.325 minus 5 will be equal to 2.395. Okay? So, meron na tuloy tayo dito ang relationship ng D to E. So, if you remember, meron tayong equation 1 here in which D plus E is equal to 140. So, therefore, our D is equal to, based from this relationship, okay, so let us write from equation 1, uh, we know that D is equal to 140 minus E, no? Transpose lang natin itong E. So, substitute natin itong D dito sa ating equation here. Okay, so we have 0 0.02 times D. Our D is equal to 140 minus E. So, 140 minus E, then plus 0 0.015 E is equal to 2.395. Okay? So, distribute natin ito uh, sa ating expression dito sa loob ng ating grouping symbol. No? So, we have here 0 0.02 times 140 so, this is equal to 2.8, no? So, 2.8 minus 0.02E plus 0.015E is equal to 2.395. Okay? So, we need to isolate our E, no? So, transpose natin itong 2.8 sa right side ng ating equation. So, we have negative 0.02E plus 0 0.015 of E is equal to 2.395 minus 2.8, no? So, okay, solve na natin para makuha natin yung value ng E. We have negative 0 0.02 um, plus 0 0.015. We have negative uh, 5 times 10 to the negative 3 E, no? So, we have negative 5 times 10 to the negative 3 times E is equal to 2.395 minus 2.8, no? So, this will be equal to um, negative 2.395 minus 2.8 um, will be 0 0.405. Okay, so therefore, our E is equal to um, negative um, 0 0.405 over negative 5 times 10 to the negative 3. So, therefore, our E is equal to, okay, so let's use our calculator again. We have negative 0 0.405 divided by our previous answer. So, this is equal to 81. So, our E is equal to 81 kilogram per minute, no? So, nakuha na natin yung value ng ating E. And, of course, we know the relationship based sa ating equation number 1. Okay? So, we know that our D is equal to 140 minus E, no? So, that means our D is equal to 140 minus E. So, this is equal to 140 minus 81. So, therefore, our D is equal to 140 minus 81, which is equal to 59 kilogram per minute. Okay? So, nakuha na natin lahat ng values natin. 81 and 59. So, let's go back here. Our D is equal to 59. D is equal to 59 kilograms per minute. And for our E, this is equal to 81 kilograms per minute. Yan, ang kailangan lang naman natin gawin is to convert that into second, no? And that will be our final answer. Okay? And to convert that into seconds, we'll just need to multiply it by 60, di ba? So, gawin na natin sa ibaba since alam naman natin yung mga values nila, no? So, here we'll have our final answers. Okay, so we know that our A is equal to 100 kilograms 
per minute. So we'll multiply this to one minute over 60 seconds. No? So this will be canceled out. So we'll have our final answer here. So gamitin uli natin yung ating calculator. We have 100 divided by 60 is equal to 1.67. No? So 1.67 kilogram per second. And for B, we know that B is equal to, ano yung value ng B natin? 50, no? So, we have 50 kilograms per minute. Um, one minute over 60 seconds will be equal to, so, this will be cancelled out. Okay. Let's use our calculator. We have 50 divided by 60. 0 0.83, no? 0 0.83 kilogram per second. Then C, ano yung value na C natin? 150 or 140? 150, no? So our C is 150 kilograms per minute. So, 1 minute over 60 seconds, this will be equal to, of course, canceling muna natin yung unit natin. Okay, so now, um, 150 divided by 60 will have 2.5. So, 2.5 kilogram per second. For our D, kakakuha lang natin kanina, this is 59 kilogram per minute so times 1 minute over 60 seconds okay this will be equal to cancel natin yung ating units okay now we have 59 divided by 60 so this is 0 0.983 0 point oh, sorry should be black 0 0.983 kilogram per second. Okay, or E, our E is equal to 81, no? 81 kilogram per minute times 1 minute over 60 seconds. Okay, our unit will be cancelled out. Okay, and then we have 81 divided by 60. So, 1.35, again, should be in black, 1.35 kilogram per second. So, isa na lang yung ating stream F. Our stream F is equal to 290 kilograms per minute times 1 minute over 60 seconds. Okay, our unit will be cancelled out. Okay, so therefore... We have 290 divided by 60. So we have 4.83. So 4.83 kilograms per second. So, no? so we already got our final answers here. So di ko na siya iba box. Okay, I'm just going to uh, mark it para naman makita nyo agad. Okay? So this is the answer, no? the solution to the problem that was given in problem 11.10 from the principles of chemical engineering by Himmel, Blue, and Riggs. So I hope nakatulong to sa inyong pag-aaral ng multiple units material balance problem. Thank you very much and have a nice day. To watch more of our lecture videos about engineering and STEM subjects, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga videos na ia-upload namin. We are regularly uploading tutorial videos in engineering, mathematics, chemistry, physics, at iba pang subject na magagamit ninyo sa inyong pagre-review. So, thank you very much sa patuloy ninyong pagsuporta sa engineers.org.